Good morning and greetings from Bill Back in Farmerville, the Funz Art, Maze Valley, Farm Market and Winery. And well, it's corn maze cutting time. Here we are on July 10th, and it just happens to be my birthday this day. So thank you to all the birthday wishes I got as well today on Facebook and, and everything else coming along there and my family. And uh, we're, we're walking through the corn maze field. Just uh, uh, This was cut last evening. Rob Stoffer from Precision Mazes is the person who I have do my corn mazes today, or for a number of years now. Used to do them myself, used to get out here with the flags and do the grid work and count rows over and walk back and forth and figure out how, how it was going to come out. And it, it just after a while, it wasn't cost effective anymore. Basically, our mazes got bigger and more complicated and complex. And this time of year, my time is so valuable that I really can't afford to be out here doing it. And anymore, when we're doing also sponsorship work, and I say something's going to look like it is from overhead, and it might be a quite complicated design, I like the peace of mind that Rob brings because when Rob does it, it's dead spot on everything did a napa corn maze a few years ago with nascar perfect did a bigfoot maze came out perfect and you can do it perfect by hand i'm not because i did i did a art maze one time about with a couple of people carved in there and you could recognize them and see them however it took us darn near oh two weeks on and off and Right this time of year, I just don't have the time. Time's really valuable to us this time of year. We have a wine pour to go to today and a lot of other things going on this weekend, a 5K race. So that's why the economics of it, I hire Rob from Precision Mazes. New this year also is our partnership with MazeQuest. Hugh McPherson over at MazeQuest, and he's bringing a whole new level of game and activity to the corn maze this year. Something new and different that we haven't done in the past, something more for our customers to enjoy. A lot of different new cool activities he has as you're going through the corn maze, as well as um, it's going to be new, a text message game we'll have as you're going through here too, to kind of bring things up to date. But this is what the corn maze looks like as you're walking through right after it's cut. I will I will have to go through and do a lot of maintenance here yet. I usually rototill it also to make sure it's all smooth and not so much uh, handicap accessible, but it is um, stroller accessible. So when people with small children can come out here and roll through without feeling like they have to be going out for a monster truck event. But this is what it looks like as you're walking through here. Uh, we'll do rototilling, possibly a little bit of spraying and some things to bring things under control. We'll take a little brief walk here as we come around the base of the maze tower and we'll go up top and we'll take a look and I'll pan over and because Rob's over up in the north northeast corner of the maze carving out some of the design. He had our Circle MV logo done and we'll take a walk up our maze tower. If you look back from former blog postings, uh, I, I do have a little bit in there in the YouTube section, out on the blog about moving this tower and then also painting it. But here we are this morning and he cut a few more paths since last night right here. And we're looking upwards, backwards at what I'm looking at now is the circle MV portion. See the arc that he did around there, a double circle arc with the letters M and V carved in the middle and with a little bit of maze jazz and some kind of cool things that just make it look a little bit more maze-like and entertaining. Rob will spend about six, seven hours here, all told. It's an eight-acre field, and he's out up in that corner right now, taking care of business, going through with his equipment. Corn is coming along. It's been struggling a lot this year. We've just not had a lot of heat and sunshine, but things are, things are looking up here. It's actually getting a little bit dry now. They're forecasting rain tomorrow. I hope we get some, but we'll see how it works out. But there's Rob getting ready to roll with his equipment. Rob does a spot on accurate job. Real pleased to have him. So once again, out in the corn maze, Civil War corn maze adventure this year. It's gonna be combined with our Civil War reenactment, August 15th and 16th this year. Then it'll be all open all the way through October 31st, Maze Valley Civil War reenactment in August, and the corn maze, I hope to open up that weekend. If not, it'll be Labor Day weekend, and then we'll move it all the way through the end of October. Groups, families, individuals as well. Bill Back in the Funzart, Maze Valley Farm Market and Winery saying, thank you for stopping by.